What's up everyone, this is Cybernat, and today we're going to be opening up a uh, Force of Will box for you guys. This is the Twilight Wanderer. Yes, I know, I'm very late on this opening, but uh, yeah, I guess better late than never, right? Uh, a lot of stuff been coming up this year with, uh, uh, whether it be health issues, to moving later this year, to all kinds of stuff. I mean, if <laughs> whatever could go wrong has lately, basically, for me. So I've been behind on a lot of openings that I should have had done by now, and this is one of those openings that I should have had for uh, quite a while, but... Uh, yeah, like I said, better late than never, right? Of course, I got this for Big and Clay Tools. You want to be sure to check them out. Link in the description. They have all kinds of awesome stuff. And also, you get a promo card with this box. So, this one is, if I can read it, there we go. It is uh, Felsing uh, the uh, Magus of Holy Wind. So, there you go. Pretty cool, too. I like the artwork on that one. So, at least you get that. I think it's only one card, too, right? I'm just going to double check because I don't want to make a mistake on that. Yeah, it's just one card. So... I'm going to keep it in the in the top loader to protect it for now. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open up our box. We have 36 packs in here, so this is going to be a longer opening, <laughs> as always with these Force of Will boxes. But hopefully we'll get something good. I still need to learn a lot more about Force of Will. I'm still kind of a noob on it, so forgive me if I don't know some of the better cards of the set. But tell me in the comments if I get something really epic or something, too. So what do we have here? Is it just kind of a kind of like a divider or something? Something like that. That's kind of cool, though. <laughs> I like that. I might have to keep that. Use it to separate your cards or, or something. I don't know. Maybe if it turned into something. Oh, why am I doing it like this? I'm opening like a Yu-Gi-Oh pack. Man, sorry. I did some Yu-Gi-Oh openings before this, and I was in that mode, I guess, right? So we have the code, like card thing. We'll be keeping these for the willpower. I don't know if it's really worth saving them or not, but yeah, I've been scanning them anyway, so we'll see. Right, here we go. Not going to read off every card name, obviously, especially on commons. Oh, that was pretty cool. It's an uncommon. We have our rare, which is a banner of shadows. And then we have a super rare, which is a, a Vivian Lady of the Lake. So there we go. We were able to get a super rare. And then even a hollow at the end, which is a hollow in common, which is Dark Arla the Shadow Wing. So there we go. Really cool. Um, hmm, let's go ahead and put our hollows and I guess super rares by themselves is how we're going to do that. That's how we'll separate. There, do something like that. Trying to figure out what's the best way to organize everything. Alright, let's see. For the rest. A lot of cool looking commons and stuff, and uncommons too. So we have our rare, which is Lancelot, the Knight of Mad Demon. That's really cool looking. Wind Magic Stone as a holographic for us. So that's cool. And then we have a holographic super rare, which is uh, uh, Umbrella, the Unfathomable. Hmm, that's kind of tough to say. Let's put these two together like that. I don't know that not every hollow is worth something in Force Will, but I still like to separate them because, I mean, it is holographic, right? So, I mean, why not? The uncommons. We have our rare, which is uh, Jean D'Arc, Shadow uh, Princess of Purity. Then we have uh, Fire Magic Stone. That's really cool. Get another magic stone on that one. This one's not holographic, though. And then we have the uh, Ziz bird that envelops the sky, which is a super rare holographic. So we'll put that to the side. I know I'm going to need to sort through all these cards after the video anyway. But this is going to end up being a long video if I had a stack for everything, right? There we go. Man, that's <laughs> scary looking up. All right, we have uh, a Drinker of Death. I don't know how you say the first part of its name, unfortunately. Then a Super, which is uh, Arthur Pendragon, King of the Round Table. So that's really cool. And then we have an Uncommon Holographic, which is uh, Savannah's Roar. See, and yeah, he's super rare, so we'll do like that. Yeah, you 
You can probably tell I recorded some Yu-Gi-Oh openings before I did this one because I'm like, I have to keep stopping myself or trying to open it like a Yu-Gi-Oh pack because they don't have like the little tear like thing on them. Glorious Castle Town. Then a Leviathan the First of the Sea for our super rare. And then a holographic uncommon is uh, the Overlord's Invasion Party. Kind of put these apart a little bit. It'll be easier to stack everything. Alright, our rare, which is uh, Guinevere the Jealous Queen. We have a Fire Magic Stone again. And then we have one of the uh, foil stamp cards, which is uh, Leventon the Demon Sword, which is a holographic rare. That is really cool looking. I like that. I like all the, the knights and stuff. I forgot that there were uh, knights of the round table and stuff in this. It's hard to stay updated with all these card games lately. So many cool things, though. Man, I, I really enjoy even the artworks of, of this game. Let's see. Holy Ground of the uh, Four Sacred Beasts, which is a rare, by the way. Then we have a Priscilla Beast Queen of Hiding. That's really cool. Another SR. Then another one of the, like, uh, foil, I believe it's called stamp cards, which is uh, Glorious Castle Town, which is a holographic rare. So there we go. Put that there and there. Let's see, we have a rare which is the Overlord's Baptism, then Water Magic Stone, then we have uh, Ruler's uh, Memora. So there we go, as a rare. Man, that is really cool looking. And do we have... Oh, okay, we didn't have a super on that one. I thought we did. I'll make sure I wasn't missing one. Getting all the magical stones, which is awesome. Let's see, a rare, which is Grand Cross. Then we have a uh, dark uh, Farah Shadow Priestess of uh, Ebony, and that is a super rare. And then we have uh, Beat of the Phoenix Wings, which is a holographic rare. Another one that says Force of Will on it, too. Like I said, I forget if it's technically called Stamped or Full Art. It's something like that. I usually just call them stamped, because it actually does say Force of Will and everything on it. I believe either term. I mean, people are going to know what you're talking about. We have a rare, which is uh, Cersei Hime, uh, Goddess of Passion. Then we have Darkness Magic Stone. And then another one of the uh, full arts like that, which is uh, Vivian, Lady of the Lake. So there we go. That is really cool looking on that one. Almost went <laughs> go back in. Sorry. Old habits. Let's start going through these a little bit quicker because we have so many cards to go through. Bead of the Phoenix Wings for a rare. Then we have Elizabeth Shadow uh, Princess of Blood, super rare. And then we have another one of the stamp cards, which is uh, a Drinker of Death. Again, I'm not really sure how you say the first part of the name. It's like I think it's a Norse name or something like that. Well, that's what it looks like, so those are always really tough. It's like you do one of these openings and then do like a Y Schwartz opening. So go from like the Norse, or like I said, I think that's what it is, to Japanese names. And <laughs> trust me, it gets tough to say a lot of those names, especially back to back. One of the rare, which is Banner of Flame. Then a Light Magic Stone. That's really cool looking as a holographic, so there we go. And we have Sin Back, which is another holographic, which is a common, so. Put these and yeah. Now on to the middle row of packs. I don't think we have a J ruler yet. I'm going to double check too before our recap. Just to make sure, because I've done that several times where it's like, you know, see a J ruler. For some reason, I don't set it aside like I should. Another one of Drinker of Death. Then we have Darkness Magic Stone. 
And then we have a uh, dark, uh, dark fair uh, shadow priestess of ebony. So there we go, another one of those, which is a holographic super rare. And yeah, every time I get my stone, it throws me off because I keep thinking that there's like a super rare. I should probably put the magic stones kind of to the side, but I'll do that later. Like I said, we gotta save a little bit of time because I'm kind of being slow on this opening. Need to get going. We have a rare, which is Evasion Ship Golden Hind. Then Darkness Magic Stone. This time it's a hollow, so that's really cool looking. And then we have uh, the Overlord's Baptism, which is a holographic rare. So, that is really cool. Also, if you guys haven't seen the backs of these cards, I always look at it just because I think it looks cool. If you haven't, if you know anything about Force of Will, they always have some cool backs to their cards. I know, weird thing to point out, but I just like it. <laughs> I like the extra effort they put into it, okay? I like the seal on the back and everything. It's pretty cool. We have uh, Jean D'Arc, uh, Shadow Priestess of Purity, rare. Then we have uh, Sacred Beast Memora, which is a rare. And then after that we have Flamewing Wyvern, which is a common holographic. So there we go. I don't think I've gotten any J rulers yet. Hopefully, we'll start seeing some of them. Like I said, unless I've missed one, which I will have to double check later on. We have a rare, which is Holy Ground of the uh, Four Sacred Beasts. Then we have Shadows of Memora, which is a rare again. And then that we have Mass Produced uh, Giant Landmine, which is a common holographic. Seems kind of scary, like a landmine that walks at you, evidently. <laughs> Because, yeah, it has, like, legs on it, or it looks that way. That's terrifying. <laughs> this one looks like a Digimon to me, or... Nah, more like a Digimon. I was about to say Pokemon, but nah. We have a rare, which is uh, Dark Rezard, the Dying Shadow. There we go. We also have Emberall, the Unfathomable. Yeah, that's hard to say. as a super rare. And then after that, we have an uncommon holographic, which is Beast Queen's Guardian, which is a really cool one. So, there we go. On that one, too. So, yeah. What did we... Yeah, we had a super rare. It was over here. What else we can get? We have a rare, which is Grand Cross. Then we have uh, Fairy's Memora, which is a rare. And then after that, we have Wind Sprite, which is a holographic common. Oh, there we go. Those two were kind of together. So we have uh, Gwen, the Knight of the Sun. That's really cool looking. I like the different knights. Uh, Levitin, the Demon Sword, which is a holographic rare. And then we also have a holographic common, which is a Beastly Attack. It's another really cool one. Still have plenty of packs left, so... Have to see what we get. We have Beat of the Phoenix Wings. Then we have uh, Ruler's uh, Memora, which is a uh, rare. And then a uh, holographic common, which is Alice's uh, Little Supply Force. There are commons, or the holographics, excuse me, are kind of going everywhere, so there we go. We have a uh, Sister Hime uh, Goddess of Passion, and that is a rare. So we have another rare, which is Unyielding Flames uh, Memora. Then after that, we have Flash of Demon Sword, which is a common holographic. So.
Uh, let's see. We have a uh, dark uh, machina uh, gliding shadow. That's really cool looking. Then a uh, light magic stone, and then after that we have a uh, fruit of Yidrasil, which is a holographic common. Yeah, and there wasn't. Yeah, magic stone threw me off again. Let's double check. Like I'm not missing like a super on that, right? Let's see, we have a Eraser of Wind. Different kind of name on that one. Let's see, this one's a super, which is Ziz the Bird that Envelops the Sky. And then after that we have Shadow uh, Doppelganger, which is a uncommon holographic. And last one for the middle. Let's see, we have a Dark Machina Gliding Shadow. Then we have a Wind Magic Stone, and then a Holographic, which is Dark Pharah uh, Shadow Priestess of Ebony. So that is really awesome looking, especially it's like the stamped card and everything too. Really cool. And yeah, that was a Magical Stone one. And now for the left side of the box. Yeah, this is going to be a longer video, <laughs> if you haven't already noticed. Thank you to everyone that is watching right now. You still made it this far. I would kind of fly through these quicker, but I also want to make sure you guys can see the cards. Let's see, we have a Hera Goddess of Jealousy. Then we have, oh, here's a J Ruler. There we go. We have a Savannah Gill of uh, Pel Pelarus. I guess I said that. I'm not really sure. I, mean, I keep saying it over and over. But that is holographic rare, and it's a J Ruler. So, of course, on the other side. We have the other form to it, which is, uh, yeah, same one, uh, Silva Gila Pelaris. I, 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 Pelaris, I guess is how you say that. <laughs> I'm having a hard time trying to say it correctly, but I think I'm really close if I'm not correct. So, that is really cool. There we go, we have a J Ruler on that, which, actually, we might just kind of put them to their own stack. How about that? And then we have a Servant of Reflect, Holographic Common. And yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't say the name of that correctly. Or hopefully I was at least close. Some of those words that you, you know, <laughs> you feel like you can say it right in your mind, but whenever it comes to actually saying it, it's a different story. Especially when you have a camera on you. It makes it worse. People always that and correct me. It's like, well, it's a little tougher when you're on camera trying to do a couple other things too while you're doing that. Uh, Percival, the Seeker of Holy Grail. Then we have a uh, Shadows Memora, which is another hollow, so that's awesome, rare hollow. And then we have an uncommon hollow, which is a uh, Caldril Born Dragon. But yeah, when you're trying to concentrate on making sure the camera's all good and everything too, and doing a video on it, it's a little bit tougher. <laughs> I don't know why, I guess it just is. Another one of the codes, and I think we got something pretty cool in this one, but we'll have to see. Look like there was something really cool from the border of it, of the, one of the cards. We have a rare, which is Invasion Ship Golden Hind. Then we have a Water Magic Stone as a holographic. And then we have, oh man, this looks really cool. Phoenix, the Flame of the World. And that is just epic looking. That's really cool. And that's not, no, that's not a J Ruler either. I was double checking on that to make sure, but no. That is really cool. Super rare holographic. That's what I was thinking it was for a second. Because the artwork was so amazing. Also, yeah, put the stone with that. But yeah, they actually say J Ruler on them. <laughs> I just sometimes just find myself double checking just to make sure because I have made that mistake in the past where I guess I just didn't see. And even though the card looked really epic and, you know, most people would know, I for some reason messed up on it. So I just double check myself. We have uh, Recollection of Dystopia, then Wind Magic Stone. And then we have uh, Protection of the Fairies, and that is a common holographic. Let's see, we have uh, the Beast Queen's Counterattack, then uh, Light Magic Stone, and after that, we have a common holographic, which is Dark Alice's uh, Familiar. 
I have no idea how many packs we have left. <laughs> There's still a few. Like half a stack right there, so... We will see. We have a rare, which is a Barrier of Shadows. Then we have a Water Magic Stone. And then here we are, another J Ruler. This is one of the stamped ones, too. And, man, I can't read it through the camera. Let's see. It is Dark Alice, uh, Maiden of Slaughter. Yeesh. <laughs> That's kind of scary, right? She has, like, a scythe with her, so I guess the name fits. And then being a J Ruler, on the other side, you have Girl in Twilight Garb. That is... Kind of scary. You don't want anyone that has slaughter in their name to be after you, that's for sure. Oh yeah, J-Ruler, so we'll put them separate. So there we go. Hopefully that's one of the better ones to get. Since it's Alice and she was on like the, the front thing and everything, so... Hope, hope we did really good with that. Let's see. I don't really know the values on Force of Will as much as others. Again, though, you try to do so many card games on it, it's tough to keep it all in your head. Barrier of Flame. Then we have uh, Schrodinger, the Fallen Black Cat. <laughs> That's cool. That's a rare. And then we have uh, Gloria's Castle Town, which is a rare holographic. Oh, and we have our code, too. Forgot to remove the code. Let's see, okay, here we are. We have Hera, Goddess of Jealousy. Then we have uh, Leviton, Demon Sword, another one of the Demon Swords, so that's really cool to see on that. And that yeah, that's a rare on that one. And we have uh, Hera, Goddess of Jealousy, again, this time as a holographic, so really cool. Which, wait a minute, was that? Yeah, that was a rare. Okay, I did say it was. Making sure. For some reason, I was thinking that the, the sword was a super rare. Even though I just said the rarity. <laughs> see, we have a Dark uh, Rezard, the Dying Shadow, for rare. Then we have Excalibur, the spirit, uh, spirit God Sword, excuse me, <laughs> on that one. So that is a rare. And then we have uh, Guinevere, the Jealous Queen, as our holographic rare. So there we go, we got Excalibur. That looks really cool. I was wondering if I'd get, if Excalibur was in this set. I kept forgetting if it was or, or wasn't. It makes sense. I mean, Arthur was, and here we, I think we got Arthur as like a holographic even. Or at least a super rare, one or the other. There you go, make sure it focused. So we have uh, the Eraser of Wind, that one, and then another Excalibur, Excalibur the God's Sword. So this one's a little bit different too, it is a rare, so... Oh yeah, one of them's the Spirit, and I guess that's the difference. Okay, I was about to say, what's the difference then on it? Uh, then we have the uh, Dark uh, Machina uh, Gliding Shadow. Have I been saying grinding, I think, in the past? I don't know. It's gliding, though, if I have. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Don't play it back, if so, right? Never happened. I will not admit that I've said any of these wrong, right? That's the way I should be. <laughs> it's like, nope, nope, I say it correctly. I get to name the cards now. Percival, the Seeker of Holy Grail. Then we have uh, Change the World Orb of Illusion. Man, that is awesome. Rare card on that one. And then we have uh, Jean D'Arc, uh, Shadow Priestess of Purity. That's a rare holographic. I love the artwork on that, too. That is amazing looking. And here we are to our last pack. What do we have here? Oh, yeah. Don't forget the code, just because it's the last pack. Now, let's see what we end with. Let's maybe we'll get something really cool. We have Lancelot, the Knight of Mad Demon. That's a cool one to get. Fire Magic Stone Holographic, another really awesome one. And then we have uh, Holy Ground of the Sacred, or Four Sacred Beasts, excuse me, as a rare holographic. So, yep, there we go. I'm going to double-check, make sure I didn't miss any J-Rulers on this, and then we'll do a recap.
Alright, so here's a quick recap of everything we got from the box. Of course, I didn't miss any J-Rulers, evidently, so we only got two J-Rulers from our box. And then after that, we have a bunch of Super Rares, our non-holographic ones. And then we move on to our holographic cards. So this is, you know, a mix of Super Rares, Commons, Uncommon, Stones, all kinds of different stuff. So, yeah, we actually did pretty well, I think, all of that, because we got a lot of Magic Stones, Holographics, which are, I, I believe, supposed to be really good. And I hope our J-Rulers are good, too, because, like I said, we got two of those, and a lot of different stamped cards, too. So... Yep, I hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. Uh, looking forward to the next box. Next time, of course, there is another box. <laughs> I'll be sure to have the opening like as soon as it's released instead of waiting so long. But uh, yeah, uh, again, sorry about this being kind of a late video. I hope you guys still enjoyed it, though, either way. Of course, as always, uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out Being Collectibles. Like I said, it's where I got this box. And uh, there will be a link in the description to that. As well as leave me a comment to some of the openings we'll see in the future. As well as like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe for more Force of Will openings, Y Schwartz, Cardfight Vanguard, and future card buddy fight. Again, thank you guys for watching. Of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.